In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to successfully paint suede, micro suede, and velvet. Very tricky fabric surfaces. My name is Jenny Lynn, creator of Fusion Mineral Paints. Join along with me and learn step by step. These are some of the trickiest fabrics on the market that you can paint, but you can do it successfully. Just make sure you follow along all of these steps very, very carefully. The most important thing is to make sure that your fabric is all clean. So you wanna take a vacuum and remove any excess debris, dirt, stains, anything like that. Now we're gonna to get to our paint. We're gonna mix our paint a little bit on the thinner side. So we're gonna do about half paint, half water. And the reason for this is that we really want it to be able to soak into that surface. It is that easy to mix a little bit of water into the paint and you can see just how thin it is. We're kind of dyeing our fabric, so to speak. Now, the suede has quite a heavy nap you can see that it's going to be different colors depending on which way you go back and forth with your hand. So this can be a really difficult surface to paint. So you want to paint in one direction. You can see the paint is quite runny again because we're just trying to dye the fabric. Not so much put a thick coat of paint on it. You may need two to three thin coats like this. Let's let that dry and head on over to our next fabric. This is a micro suede. This is commonly found in the roofs of cars um, and even on, you know, lots of different pieces of furniture. Let's try applying coat here. The micro suede, it applies onto really, really nicely, much nicer than just the regular thicker suede. You can see how nicely it's absorbing. Now we're gonna hop on over to our velvet and this is a really difficult fabric to paint, but again, if you stick in one direction, that should really, really help. Now, you can dampen the fabric beforehand if you want to. If you don't, it's not the end of the world, but let's just see how well it takes it. If it's having difficulty absorbing, then you may want to spray your fabric down first with a spray bottle. So I finished applying my first coat to all of these different fabrics and I'm going to want to let it sit for a couple of hours until I feel that it's dry to the touch. As soon as it's dry to the touch, I can go ahead with my second step. So we finished our first step of applying the watered down paint mixture. It's had a chance to dry and it's feeling really, really nice on these surfaces. So the first one here, this suede, it actually feels the most rough on this one. So what I would do is before I put another coat of paint, I want to grab my sandpaper and just listen to this. You can hear how rough that is. But as soon as I do that a couple of times, it really takes everything down and goes nice and smooth again. Now we need to be realistic and know that some materials like suede are going to be a little bit rough to the texture and to the touch afterwards. And that is just the nature of painting this type of material. The microfiber is absolutely beautiful and soft. So I won't need to sand that one. And this one is very, very soft, the velvet as well, but you can sand. You just have to feel it to the touch. And if it feels rough to you, go ahead and give it a sand in between every coat of paint that you do. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a second coat of paint. And what we wanna do here is actually add more paint into our mixture. So it's not just a half water, half paint mixture. We wanna have more paint this time. Every coat that we add, we thicken our paint up just a little bit. 
So it's still a little bit on the thin side, but not too thin. Let's go over here to our suede material and look at that second coat. It is just going on so much nicer and more solid and opaque. So all we're gonna need on this is two coats for nice solid coverage. It's completely up to you for the look that you're going for as to how opaque you want your coverage to be. There we go, pull it all back in one direction. A little bit too much paint on there, wipe it off. And again, I think the suede is probably gonna be one of the most difficult ones because you do have a lot of the fibers that have raised up. Now to the microfiber. It's actually very, very smooth and nice. Let's give that a shot. Allow again, really nice coverage on the second coat. I think the first coat is always gonna look like a little bit scary because you are using half water, half paint. So don't worry, that is totally normal. There we go. This one looks like it may need a third coat because it's just soaking in so much to this microfiber suede. Every fabric is always gonna be a little bit different. Okay, now over to our velvet. It's really quite smooth, really happy with that. Let's put a second coat on there and see how it does. Really nice coverage of the second coat. Again, this will probably only need two coats. Looks like the microfiber suede is gonna need a third one. Beautiful. So we're gonna let that dry. It could be about 30 minutes to an hour. And once it's dry to the touch, you may wanna give it a light sanding if you feel anything rough. You can decide at that point if you need to put an additional coat of paint on or not. And if you're happy with it at that point, I do recommend applying our clear furniture wax just to finish it off nicely, seal up the paint beautifully and give it a beautiful leathery finish.